Henry the Green Engine was sent to Croven's Gate to pick up a special item for the Coldy Fell Railway. He wondered what it was. He arrived at the works and looked around for the item. Good morning, Henry, said the manager. Looking for your load? Yes, I am, replied Henry. Over here, mate, said a voice. Henry jumped. Beside him was a little black diesel. Uh, hello, are you that special item? he inquired. Why, yes, replied the diesel. I'm the first diesel for the Coley Fell Railway. My real name's Niles, but they nickname me the Mouse because I, well, look like a little black mouse. Henry laughed. Come on, Niles, let's get you to your railway. When Niles was loaded onto the track at Kirk Matchen, the other engines were quite amazed. They had never had a diesel on their railway before. Welcome, number nine, said Ernest, the oldest of the lot. Hello, Niles, said Mr. Burain, the manager. Ernest, show him road. Ernest took him to the carriage shed, where Jane the truck was sleeping. This is Jane the maintenance truck, said Ernest. You'll mostly be going out with her, being the maintenance diesel. Jane woke suddenly to the sound of Niles' engine. Phew! She spluttered. What is that racket? I am sorry, said Niles. I'm new here. Oh, you're a new maintenance diesel. Oh, how rude of me. I'm just not used to the sound of diesel engines. Pleasure to meet you. The two began a conversation when Niles' driver came in. Mr. Brain requests that we double-head a passenger train with Patrick. It'll show you the line. At last, real work, said Niles joyfully, and he roared into action. Patrick, who was previously known as Lord Harry, was waiting for Niles with a coach. Niles slowly backed down onto the front of the coach. What on earth are you doing? snapped Patrick. You can't pull the train from the front. It's not safe. Didn't you know that? No, uh, sorry, I'm new and... I'll just couple up behind me when I leave, interrupted Patrick. I'll teach you the ways of the mountain railway. Patrick was very reluctant to share a train with a diesel. They always seemed very oily and noisy, and he had heard bad things about them from the mainline engines. The passengers boarded, the guard blew the whistle, and they set off. As they puffed through the countryside, they approached a crossing. Patrick gave a whistle to warn people. Niles decided to copy him. He glared his horn. Ah! Screeched Patrick, who was utterly shaken by a strong noise. What is one loud horn? Sorry, mate. I was just doing what you did, said Niles. Yes, grunted Patrick. How about you leave the whistling to me? Hey, mate. They were soon climbing up Coldy Fell. Niles was astonished by the view. Keep your eyes on the rail, Patrick barked. I am, replied Niles. Don't worry, everything is under control. Yeah, sure, muttered Patrick. Then they reached Devil's Back, the last and steep stretch to the summit. Careful, mouthy, reported Patrick. Don't want to fall off here. Niles only laughed, but just then, they saw Coldy, who was not moving at all. A guard was waving a red flag, and Patrick and Niles had to stop. Coldy's broken an axle. He's stuck, said the guard. Bother, said Patrick's driver. How will we get to the summit? We can't pass you guys. You're not the only one not going to the summit. These poor passengers are stuck, said Coldy. Patrick growled. Niles had an idea. He whispered it to his driver. Yes, of course. That'll work. Niles then suddenly shot forward. What are you doing? yelled Patrick. Niles shunted Patrick and the coach gently into Coldy. I can push you all up, said Niles. Absolute rubbish, snarled Patrick. You can't possibly push all of us right up this mountain. But the drivers all agreed and Niles' engine roared into life. <sniffs> Good luck, scoffed Patrick. You ready? asked Niles' driver. Yes, mate, let's go. And 
with a bump, Niles pushed the train up the hill with no trouble at all. Patrick and Coldy were astonished. Niles wasn't going very fast, but managed to push the train all the way to the summit without any bother. The passengers were very impressed. Well done, Niles, cheered Coldy. Thank you so much. Oh, it's nothing. It's what I'm designed for. I'm a maintenance diesel. That evening, Niles was resting in the shed when Patrick came in. Listen, uh, mate. I'm sorry I was rude to you. You definitely did surprise me with your strength. N Niles smiled. It's alright, mate, he said. I'm quite fascinated by how your steam engines work. You all are truly magnificent machines, especially you. Patrick felt very flattered and started going on and on about his design. Soon, the other engines came in, and the eight were all telling Niles about their majestic railway. You may look like a mouse, said Alaric, but you're definitely not as quiet as one, and certainly more stronger. The engines all laughed. Niles could only agree.